All right, guys, today I'm here Tools. I just want to talk about a subject that uh, I've been thinking about for a while. I watch a lot of tool YouTube channels, and I seriously love how many uh, YouTubers now are doing tool reviews. It is seriously awesome. Big difference than it was two years ago, and it's seriously great. This information is very uh, important because, as you guys know, tools are expensive. The more tool reviews we have with different perspectives and different kinds of tests is actually, in my opinion, very important because... Since not everyone has a huge budget to buy these tools with, it's the more information that people get to convince them to get a certain tool is better than having less information on the tool. And so just so that people know they're confident with their purchase, they're never going to second guess their decision. If I really need this tool or is there a cheaper version I should have bought that'll do the same thing. You know, that information is really going to help out. That's why this channel supports reviewers on YouTube from Project Farm all the way down to the people that are, have a new channel. And the, a lot of these people need, shot, a lot of these people deserve shout outs. Now, just to give you guys an example, when I first started watching Torque Test channel, he only had a couple thousand subscribers. After I gave him a shout out and then uh, I uploaded this video, the Frankenstein Milwaukee M18 impact driver i put a half inch anvil on there he uh, actually contacted me through instagram and we've been talking ever since so in the message he said that he wanted to test this out and so i sent this to him and now i gave him the absolute freedom to call bs on me if he wanted to if he thought that i was lying about the results which it turns out i wasn't special episode for you guys today and a special delivery from another youtube channel man caver tools cooked up something special over on that channel essentially milwaukee's highest rated m18 impact driver the 2853-20, but with some minor surgery to swap out the quarter inch hex collar for a half inch anvil out of the 2855-20 compact impact wrench. Pokes the elephant in the room that we've been ignoring up until now. If man caver tools can make this, then Milwaukee can make this too, right? I mean, what we've seen here is honestly a stomping thing. And thanks again for letting us measure its power with no strings attached and affording us the option to call BS on you, which we didn't need to do here. And thank you guys for watching. This was Torque Test Channel approved. And so, yeah, it's seriously awesome. And ever since he did this video, his channel skyrocketed. As you guys can see the numbers right here, shout out led his channel to be on the map. His videos were already fantastic. He just needed to be put on the map with a certain type of tool and a test. And this actually did it for him. Like this was his highest viewed video for a long time. Now it's not. Now like his, he's almost in the millions on a lot of his videos. Reaching out to a small channel majorly helped out. And by the way, I was at around 15,000 subscribers during this time. Smaller channels need shout outs because they could turn into something grand. And so that's why this channel supports so many tool channels because, you know, yes, does it drive, drive traffic away from my channel? Me potentially losing subscribers and uh, re YouTube revenue? I don't really care about that. I have a full-time job and I have this. I'm constantly working two full-time jobs for the past three years. And when I first started this channel, I was working a hundred plus hours a week at my actual job. When I first started the channel, and as you guys can see, that's why this one person always, I forgot what his name was. He always thought I was drunk in every video because I was actually tired. And so, but I got used to this lifestyle of working two full-time jobs for years, and I'm actually, it's normal now. I'm always doing something, and I'm always busy, schedules always changing, where I, I can't do anything consistent on a regular basis at all. I can't, I can't schedule a live for every time of every week, because my, my life's hectic. It, it is. I do not have an easy schedule life. Something happens to where... Something always happens to where my plans completely change to where I got to redo stuff. The shout outs and videos is awesome. That's why I love belts and boxes. Sorry, belts and boxes no longer up here. I'm, I'm saving this space for uh, smaller channels. And so once they actually develop stickers, this is where the smaller channels are going to go. And as soon as they get to a certain growth, that's going to be re uh, their stickers can be taken out and replaced with newer channels. I just want you guys to keep an open mind on a lot of these tool reviewers because not everyone is going to do the same type of test. They're not going to be a certain way in front of the camera. I'll give you guys an example. This is what I used to be in front of the camera. 
actually called the power inflator. As everyone knows, I have this tool, I have it already. And I got another one for, well, it was on sale for $7, so I got a couple of them, as you guys know in previous videos. I All right, we're gonna stop it there. My knowledge of, the, of these tools back then was very little because I did not have brushless tools when I was in construction. I had the older brush stuff and they did not perform like these tools do now. That's why when I first started this channel, the Ryobi brushless stuff, I was amazed by the power that they actually had. This thing is awesome. I love it. I love my tools. Because even the best tools back in the day in the early 2000s did not have the power. Tools are so powerful now, but they're also expensive. Videos are essential for viewers to see so they can make the correct decision on making a certain purchase. And that is what this channel strives for. This channel is here for you guys. I thank all my subscribers and viewers for watching my videos. Are my videos as professional as other channels? No. But it's another perspective on how these tools are tested out and a different opinion on them based on my experience with working with these tools for years. I don't work with a single individual tool all year round. My work gets distributed between every tool. Like whatever battery I so happen to have next to me, that's the tool I have. Sometimes it's a DeWalt, sometimes it's Hilti, sometimes it's Milwaukee, sometimes it's Ryobi. Ryobi is a, is, Ryobi is a fantastic brand now. They didn't, they weren't back in the day, but Ryobi actually has proven themselves. Are they the fastest, most powerful? No, but I broke, bro, I, I broke older brush tools very easily in the past. And these tools, none of these tools are, are breaking easily. I've tortured these tools. I honestly thought that this one was going to fry out with the, with the test that I do. But it's actually being one of the best mid-range impact wrenches that I have. With a 3 amp hour battery with 21700 cells. You know, it's circumstantial for the power, but you're still able to to get that power out of the tool, which is amazing. But yeah, so I do apologize for not uploading as often as I normally do. It's just been busy for the past X amount of months, you know, and it's, I'm uh, able to upload every week, a couple of times a week, luckily, you know, but summer's coming up. I am gonna be uploading the projects that I'm working on the house soon, as soon as the weather gets better, because I wanna be able to, I wanna sweat and work on this stuff. I don't want it to be cold, be wrapped up like this. I want the sun to beam on me and just enjoy being outside. So I can't wait. So those videos are coming up in the future. And like I said years ago, if Hilti sends me an SDS hammer drill, I'm going to introduce SDS hammer drills into these videos because this SDS hammer drills are actually my favorite thing to test out now. And I'm not going to lie, they also are the easiest thing to test out and edit. If you guys look up tools, which that's the main thing I watch on YouTube is tool channels. I watch it on the TV, so most of the time I'm not able to comment or like. Just like in real life, my wife and I actually eat at a lot of mom and pa shops. We really, we're really not fans of the big chain restaurants or even the big chain fast food places. We mainly give the mom and pa shops our business because they deserve the business as well. So the same thing with this. Smaller channels deserve the attention as well and your view because like, the, like I watched a lot of these smaller channels, a lot of them actually give critical information and a different perspective. And just like this channel that I found a uh, tinker with tools, uh, he only has a handful of videos out. I've watched a couple of them and they actually are pretty decent videos and I loved watching them. I subscribed, gave him a shout out in the community page uh, of my YouTube channel. Gave him a shout out in a previous video and I'm giving him another shout out because I want to see him grow. I want to see this guy grow. He, this, the, a lot of these channels deserve it. That's pretty much it guys. I just want to make this video and I thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting it. This channel is not going to go anywhere. It's only going to evolve to be a better channel. I'm not really worried about growing huge. The most important thing to me is the information on these tools gets out there so people can make real life decisions on them. Because that's what I did. That's what a lot of, that's what billions of other people do. They look on YouTube or whatever social media platform to get more information on it so they don't have to spend $400 on a tool to find out.
that goes with any brand. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.